everyone. I'm here with my mom today. Hey. And I'm going to show you how to draw your own adult coloring book. And so I know that adult coloring books are really popular right now and there's so many people, my mom included, that think that they're not artists. I can't draw anything. Nothing. So I'm very skeptical that she's going to be able to So I, I was like, look, if I can show my mom how to do an adult coloring book page, then I can certainly teach you guys how to do it. So. I'm going to take it step by step and it's going to be awesome, so let's get started. Okay, I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to start with a flower pattern and show you guys how to do that. I've also done a lot of uh, silhouettes of animals or plants or other things and then put designs inside them. So adult coloring books are all about replication of patterns. So we're going to come up with some really kind of fun and cool patterns. And what we're really doing is just kind of drawing lines and circles um, and replicating them. So it's not like you need a lot of technical drawing experience to make this happen. So when you're doing this, go ahead and start with some circles. And one of the things you want to make sure you do is always close the gap. So you want to try to keep your lines as smooth as possible. So like areas like this where, you know, this is thicker, that'll show up in the coloring book. So what we would want to do here, if this one's so thick, we kind of want to even those out and make the other petals the same thick thickness to match. And this is one thing that's nice about when you're creating art, is you want different weights of lines anyway. And so having some thicker lines in here is not a bad thing to do, and it's, it's a good way to help um, disguise some mistakes you might make. They say there are no mistakes in art anyway, but we want nice smooth lines here. If you're intimidated by this design, just break it down into simple patterns. I'm going to put up this design that I've done right here for free on my blog. You can either download the Illustrator file I've created or just the black and white PDF. I think designs look a lot better when they aren't perfectly symmetric. So don't be afraid if the circle is lopsided or one petal is bigger than the other. I think that just adds character. One of the reasons why I love projects like this is because I find it very therapeutic and easy to meditate while drawing. After you have your design, what we're gonna do is take a photo of it. You wanna make sure it's in good lighting and that looks pretty good. Okay, so I've just opened the graphic in Photoshop and what I like to do in Photoshop uh, is kind of just clean up the image a little bit. Um, so I'm going to uh, convert this to a smart object and then rasterize it. And it doesn't matter that I'm rasterizing it because we're going to create a vector image out of it anyway in Illustrator. Um, and so I'm just going to delete the background. You can see that there's a lot more contrast now. And if there's any kind of like big areas, I'll probably go through and delete those. Not totally necessary, but just kind of cleans things up. Okay, so now that I've cleaned this up, what you can do is you can look for any areas where the line might be too thin. And you can always go in with like a little brush and kind of, oops, and kind of touch things up. So I've kind of gone through and looked for any areas that I thought were thin and touched it up with the brush. Um, the brush is here to change the stroke of the brush, control click, and then you can, you know, increase the size, and if you bring it over you'll see how big the size is, so I was at like about three or four points. Um, okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to save this as a, let's say, flower, and we're going to do JPEG. Save it to the desktop. I created a folder called Messy Things and pulled all of the stuff from my desktop in there so that you guys wouldn't see how bad my desktop looked. Okay, now I'm just gonna pull this straight into photo or into uh, Illustrator. Open up Illustrator. And I'm gonna self-highlight the image 
go to Object. I'm going to go to Image Trace and hit Make and Expand. Hit OK. And this is, I saved this at a pretty large scale, so it's taking a little bit of time. Okay, so let's take a look. That looks pretty good. And now I'm going to do highlight this again and go object, apply to paint. Okay, great. So now comes the fun part where we get to start to color this. So obviously, at this point, you could print this out. Uh, you can color it in yourself. But what I always enjoy doing is coloring it digitally. Uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and do that now using the live paint bucket. So you can see that now this has created a segment out of each one of these. And I can go ahead and open up. I'm going to hit some color swatches over here and open up some colors. And, you know, you can start to choose colors for this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. to Caitlin's YouTube channel and like this video. Okay, you guys heard it. My mom wants you to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel, so please do. Until next time, bye everyone. Bye.